Hi guys, Steve Musa here, back with another video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a subscriber, you know how we do. Make sure to hit the notification button, that little bell thing on the side. Click it, so whenever I upload a video, you get a notification. And for today's video, we're going to be doing a do's and don'ts on how to shade with ballpoint pen doing skin tone. It's a question I get asked a lot, like how do you do skin tone, how do you do this, how do you do that. So, we're going to do a do's and don'ts on that. And yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's, let's, just, let's just get into this. Let's go. So to start off, we're going to be showing you the pens that I'm going to be using. Orange, pink, and brown. And I will occasionally use yellow if I need to, which is here. Uh, all the pens are Stedler uh, made, apart from the yellow, which is a Ryman stationery. But yeah, we're going to start off by drawing the boxes. I have one for the don't and one for the do's. Uh, the one on the left-hand side is the don't because I'm right-handed, so I put left, <laughs> so I put don'ts on the left-hand side. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you is what not to do, which is this, <laughs> you don't wanna do this. First of all, the mistake is the lines are too wide apart and you've already applied the pressure too much. So when it comes to skin tone, you don't wanna apply the pressure so hard at the beginning because then after this, it's gonna be difficult to start overlapping colors and stuff like that. Again here, as you can see, I'm just doing it. I'm not really thinking about the width between the lines or anything like that. I'm just applying the orange. And it's a bit zigzaggy. I'm not lifting my pen. I'm not doing none of that. And that's a big mistake. You want to lift up your pen every time you do a stroke. Um, that way it just looks clean and stuff. Because the thing about creating skin tone, realistic skin tone, is it has to look like one. So here I'm going to show you what to do when you're doing skin tone. As you can see, there's a big difference already. I've just started and the lines are closer together uh, to create that skin tone illusion. Um, and another thing is the pressure that I'm applying is consistent throughout. Uh, I'm not applying darker areas to certain areas and light areas to certain areas. It's just trying to keep the same consistency throughout, um, applying it lightly. That way I can always add more layers on top if I'm gonna add brown on top, it's not a problem. Orange on top, it's not a problem. And yeah, that's what you wanna do here. So you wanna keep the pressure throughout exactly the same with the first layer. And as you can see, there's a totally big difference. One side is darker than the other. It's just wrong, it just looks bad. And the other side is much more clean and smooth. And here I've showed you, I just, fast I just did it all off camera because it takes time. Um, that's another thing about ballpoint pen, it takes a lot of time, you have to have patience. If you're one of them ones that wants your drawing done quickly, then <laughs> you're gonna have a hard time with ballpoint because you're gonna have to take your time and learn how to do it. Um, here I'm doing a different angle, but the pressure is exactly the same, and it gives off that illusion that's a bit darker tone when you're just overlapping the layers, but you're going in a different direction, so it gives off that illusion. Um, as you can see, it's a totally different story from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, but yet we've only added two layers on each and one looks like hell and the other one looks like we, we're getting somewhere. Again, I'm gonna skip past all this because it takes time to do all these lines. So I'm gonna skip past it. But yeah, you wanna keep the lines all consistent throughout until you filled up the area. So say if you wanted to add a shadow or anything like that to, to the drawing, what would you do? You would have to add more layers on top of it, of course. But one thing I do see people do is they tend to just scribble um, on that area, just make it as dark as they can and press as hard as they can without actually thinking about building it up with layers. Again, it's another thing to do with patience. Some people are just impatient. Like this, you see what I'm doing? I'm just doing lines all over the place just to fill out the area. And it doesn't look nice. It doesn't look like skin. Our skins are not like this. Let's just be honest. Our skins don't look that rough, <laughs> innit? And the only way your skin's gonna be looking that rough is you're on drugs. And <laughs> ain't nobody on drugs around here. So we're trying to keep it as smooth as possible, you know what I mean? That baby fit, baby skin, that baby oil, you know what I mean? Soft. That's what we're trying to do. And as you can see there, it doesn't, it doesn't even look like skin, it just looks like orange. And you know what I mean? Like, even spray tan doesn't look that bad. So, what you want to do is, again, build it up with layers. Do a different angle, multiple different angles um, on top of each other. And always try to blend it out with the lightest place as well. So, it kind of gives off that 
you want it to fade together you know what i mean you want it to be one um we don't want it to be broken when you look at okay this part is dark and then i, I lie and this part is just you know what i mean you want it to all kind of merge into one um ballpoint pen is a bit like paint to be honest because you know when you do when you see a painting from far it's all connected you know what i mean looks nice it's all great like it just looks legit and then once you go up close that's when you really see the the art you go up close you see all the dots you see all the lines and stuff like that you can probably see the separation between the inks and stuff ballpoint pen is probably exactly i want to say exactly the same but it's close because when you got really close to a drawing that's done in ballpoint pen that's when you could really see the lines the, you know i mean the lines in between and all that stuff how close the lines are you can see people see that how the artist has put effort into the drawing um that's one thing i like about ballpoint pen uh, it gives us that illusion it's, it's all about illusion trying to trick the eyes if you know what i mean hope that makes sense uh now we're bringing in the brown um, we're going to try and apply that on top of this orange on the left hand side but as you can see it's not really working um, they're not really blending together simply because the orange you, you basically we messed up the drawing from the beginning because the orange is just too dark and now trying to blend the brown with the orange it's not going to work unless we're trying to create a really 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 dark skin tone um, that's the only way we can kind of put the brown on top without you know what I mean the orange being shown but if we're trying to blend the two colors together it's not gonna work because the orange is already too dark so that's that's just a failure so we're gonna go to the do's now and let me show you exactly how you want to do this with the brown you want to do almost exactly what you did with the orange you applied it really lightly first and you create your layers on top so you go in one direction you go in another direction but you apply the layer really really lightly it's almost to the point you want to kind of miss the paper like you're trying not to touch the paper um I've, again i've got a layering tutorial on my patreon um if you guys want to go see exactly how i layer things and what i basically if you want me to talk into depth about how i'm doing this layering you can go check that out on patreon as well and i will be having a drawing coming soon of miguel revela from the coco movie um that again that drawing will be mainly focused on skin tone so that's part of the reason why i uploaded this one first so you guys can see if you guys want to know how to do it with an actual drawing uh, you guys can check out my miguel ravela drawing on my patreon once it's uploaded on youtube YouTube. it should be done by then uh but yeah the brown you see is really blending in with the orange and now here again we're adding it on top really really lightly so I can see the left right hand side is really the brown is really blended in well with the orange it looks like skin we can actually see the skin and now at the bottom adding a bit more darkness to it to show you that you can go really dark I just apply a bit more pressure onto the pen and again try to blend it out with the rest you know what I mean? it's all about layers all about layers you just have to have the patience for it and try and work on your pressure as well. Layers, pressure, as important as each other. So now we're going to be bringing in the pink and with the pink it's mainly used for like uh, when you've got red cheeks and stuff like that that's when you really want to bring in the pink as, as, as I was saying about the left hand side because the orange is already messed up the drawing even if you apply any color on top no matter how lightly or you do it the orange is still going to come through really really powerful like it's just too it's too strong to try and even blend it with the rest of the skin whereas here you can see on the right hand side you can even you can hardly see the pink but i am actually applying pink pink is on the page like you can you can just about see it but as i keep adding layers 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 all of a sudden you can start to see it like emerge like you can almost see it popping through and that's simply because i'm trying to miss the paper i'm trying not to touch the paper that's the kind of you have to have the kind of that resistance to not try and touch the paper like don't apply it too too strong 
Um, again, I'm not expert. I'm not. I'm not a ballpoint pen expert. But this, I'm trying to show you guys what I have learned over the years. And you want to try and miss the paper. And now we're going to take the orange and apply it on top. Why? Because we want to glue the pink and the orange together. And also, when you apply the orange on top, it's kind of going to make the pink pop out a bit more because you're adding something on top of it. That's one thing I tend to do quite a bit. Like I'll apply the orange of course as my base and then I'll apply the pink on top. And then after that, I'll take the orange again and apply it on top to kind of just merge everything together, bring it all together, make it look like one. Instead of making it look like a cartoon where it's just like a circle of pink and then this orange around it type thing. As you can see, you can kind of see the pink there. It's not too strong, but then again, this is a good thing because if I want to go back to it and apply more pink, I could always do that. Whereas if I applied it too dark straight away, then there's no going back because the, it's just messed up. The drawing is done. So with the pink, if you don't like it like that, you want it to be a bit more, then you just take the pink and apply it a bit more on top of it. Now I'm gonna show you how to do like really dark areas and try and blend it out with the lighter areas, like the oranges and stuff. So I've drawn a black, uh, brown line here. And as you can see, I'm applying the orange right on top to try and blend it together. As you can see, it's, it's just not working again because it's too dark and these are things you don't want to do instead you see although i'm doing a dark line of brown the first layer is pretty light and i'm adding a second layer and should do the keyword there layering i'm actually layering it together instead of just doing it one time dark building it up layering so i've done about three layers now the key is here is to take the brown you're actually using and try to fade it out from the darkest area so from the dark area we're gonna go outwards and try and add like a really really light coat to blend it out on both sides like this as you can see it's already starting to blend out together it's looking nice we're liking it boom 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 really adding them layers always changing the direction always changing direction and the reason I do it pretty fast like this is because when I do it like this fast like my hand is kind of used to that stroke you know what I mean that consistency whereas if I did it a line at a time my consistent my stroke could change like the pressure of my stroke could change because I'm doing it so slow so that's why I like to apply it pretty fast so the consistency is constantly the same I'm not going I'm, I'm in a I'm in a rhythm if you know what I mean I'm in like one tempo and yeah, now that we've done all this brown, of course, we're going to have to bring back the orange uh, to kind of blend it all together. You know what I mean? So, we're just going to touch around with the brown, just, you know, try to fill it out. Fill in, fill in, fill in. And then, where the orange at? There it is. Bring back the orange. Put it on top. That super glue. We get that strong super glue around here. So, that's what we're going to do here. Glue, glue. As you can see, we're already gluing it together. It's looking nice, it's looking naughty. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. But yeah, if you guys wanna go to my Patreon, check it out. Um, right now I've got a thingy, a $7 one. I, I, I added it on a few weeks back, a $7 one, uh, where you guys can become a student of mine. And every month you will send me one of your drawings for me to critique. Um, I'll give you constructive criticism, places you can improve. Obviously, I'll tell you what I like and stuff like that. I'll ask you questions and all sorts, and it's just going to be a good time. As you can see there, I made a mistake. Why? Because I didn't wipe my pen. Because I didn't wipe my pen, that big black thing just come out of my <laughs> uh, pen, and it kind of ruined the drawing. But that's one thing I always tell people to do. Try to wipe your pen as much as you can, although I don't do that myself. But try to wipe it as much as you can. Uh, try, and make, try and make it a habit although I still haven't made it a habit because I rarely do it and that rarely happens to me but it happens so you just got to deal with it but yeah wipe your pen as much as you can as I was saying I got a seven dollar one so if you guys want me to critique your work um, you can apply for that one and every month you send me a drawing I'll critique it tell you what's good and all that stuff and yeah I'll just try and help you improve your work man 
that's all I'm about and yeah that that's the video I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah thank you so that was my video for today I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you didn't still give it a thumbs up and yeah if you guys want to see more in-depth tutorial videos make, make sure to head over to my patreon account um, see what I have to offer on the reward section um, I've got uh, $1, $3, $5 and $7. Um, the $7 one is if you want to become a student of mine where I critique one of your pieces of work every month. I'll send you videos and all that stuff on how to improve your drawing. So that way you can get more of a connection with me. Um, if you want to become a student of mine, you can head over there. And the $5 one is just you have access to all my tutorial videos, um, which I have plenty of at the moment and I'm constantly adding to it. And yeah, they're just in depth and uh, trying to help you guys improve your drawings and stuff like that. But that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm out.